this is going to be a live recording of our segment, Higher Education. Uh, we will be going over uh, CBG. If you're unfamiliar with CBG, I am too. What is CBG? Canna Biggerol. Is that, is that how, am I pronouncing that right? I have no idea. Canna Biggerol is a type of cannabinoid obtained from the cannabis plant. Obviously, it's, it's from the cannabis plant. Uh, it's often referred to as the mother of all cannabinoids. This is because other cannabinoids are derived from canna bigerolic acid, CBGA, which is an acidic form of CBG. So it's just like when you think about THCA or uh, uh, CBG or CBD. I don't, I don't know if CBD has an A. I, I would assume that it does, but I don't know. CBG is derived from young cannabis plants. But CBD and THC start as CBG, CBGA, which is the acidic form of CBG. This is why younger cannabis plants contain higher concentrations of CBG. Okay, well that makes sense. Fully developed plants with high concentrations of THC and CBD, you'll find very low concentrations of CBG. This happens because most of the CBG has already been converted. So there's a conversion process between CBG, CBGA into, into THCA is what you're telling me and into CBD. It's very, very interesting guys. Due to the difficulty of getting CBG, cannabis growers have been experimenting with crossbreeding and genetic manipulation to help cannabis plants produce more CBG. I mean, it sounds to me like you can produce hemp plants or, or, or CBG, CBD plants, you know, and, and get the same result. You just have to chop them, you know, early. Maybe, maybe that's a thing. I don't know. I, I don't know. It works. What does it even do for us, guys? We, I don't even know what CBG does. Somebody told me that it, has, it helps with uh, indigestion. Is that true? CBG is processed by the body's endocannabinoid system. We learned that on our last episode of Higher Education. CBG works by binding to both receptors where it's thought to strengthen strengthen the function of an anadamide. An, I don't know what, what that word is. We're going to have to search that one up. An, uh, anadamide. <laughs> which is a neurotransmitter that plays a role in enhancing pleasure and motivation. I guess we don't have to have to uh, look it up. We just got to keep reading, guys. Always remember, just just keep reading, you know? Wait on your opinion. Just keep reading. <laughs> Unlike THC, CBG has no psychotropic effects, so you're not going to get high because it has a high concentrate of CBG. I just, I find it very interesting that CBG is said, or like it's saying here, said to be the precursor to THC, so you have to be CBG before you become C THC, or you have to be CBA before you become THC, which is completely different become, because that would be the acidic form of CBG, and they're trying to say that CBG would be the after of a CBA. Oh man, this this sounds confusing, guys. <laughs> this sounds confusing. Verywellmind.com. Interesting read. Again, I am not an expert. I don't know about the things that I'm talking about. I am reading them. I am learning them just like you. We are doing this together, guys. This is a team effort here. How does CBGA turn into THC like that doesn't even make sense leafly leafly is a reputable uh, website they are definitely uh, somewhere where I would suggest you looking up cannabis information uh, also weed maps is another good one you might think of CBGA as the granddaddy of cannabis or cannabinoids why because CBGA is at the top of the cascade reaction that produces the three major cannabinoid lines, which are 
THCA, T B C B D A. So I guess there is a CBDA. That answers our original question earlier about the CBD. And then CBCA. I, I don't think I've heard of a CBCA. So I do want to point out, if you're not familiar with THCA, uh, what this is basically saying, uh, as far as, as the conversion is, as, as our original question, CBGA turns into CB, THCA. THCA is what I, basically your, your weed is before you light it on fire. So before you decarb it, uh, before anything, that is what the weed is consisting of. It's a THCA. It's not even a THC, really. It's just THCA. Now, when, when you light it, when you smoke it, when you ignite it, basically when you light a bowl, like I'm about to do, when you light this bowl, you're instantly decarbing your bud. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty interesting if you ask me. Like this, I, I'm instantly creating an oven type situation and I'm activating and converting uh, one chemical into another by introducing, uh, I guess, X. Yeah, babe. Can a bigger roll, which is gaining attention for its proclaimed antibacterial, antimicrobial, and anti-inflammatory properties. There it is, right there, guys. I forget who said it. It was in the uh, Florida Medical uh, Cannabis Review Group. Guys, you gotta go check that out, man. If you're not in that group, you're missing out, guys. There's there's some good people in there. There's a lot of people trying to give out reviews and good information. There's a there's a good good few people active in the group. You should definitely give it a look. If this is what you need, if you have allergies, if you have you know, asthma, ICB, like it said, I think, I think that's the, 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 the abbreviation, the abbreviation for the bowels thing. Like, this is a very important cannabinoid, guys. And, and most importantly, besides its medical values, like, without CBG, or CBGA, rather, without CBGA, you know, you can't, you just, you won't even have THC. CBG interacts with both the CB1 and CB2 receptors, potentially inhibiting the intoxicating effects of THC. CBG has also demonstrated an ability to increase ana anadamide. Is that am I pronouncing that right? Am anadamide, which is commonly referred to as bliss as the bliss molecule an indigenous cannabinoid that helps regulate a wide range of bodily functions including appetite sleep mood and the immune system man that guys that sounds like a high in itself you know i think we look at a high in the wrong way just because something can affect you in a psychoactive way doesn't mean or, or just because something doesn't affect you in a psychoactive way doesn't mean that it isn't uplifting to, to you. It, it doesn't mean that it's not getting you high, in a sense. The minor cannabinoid also functions outside of the endocannabinoid system and has shown itself to be an agonist to the serotonin 1A receptor. <laughs> You know what serotonin is, right? I'll let you figure that one out. However, according to Tristan Watkins, PhD, Chief Science Officer at Lucid Mood, a Boulder, Colorado based brand of proprietary terpene and biotanical and botanical formulations. <laughs> so let's read off this little checklist. Ant antibacterial properties glaucoma, inflammation, neurodegenerative conditions. So, huh, that's a game changer, guys. A neurodegenerative condition. Let me look this up real quick just so I can confirm that I know what I'm talking about when I say what I'm about to say. Go. Conditions define. I love Google, man. So easy. Listen, 
a type of disease in which cells of the central nervous system stop working or die. Epilepsy can be associated with progressive cognitive decline resembling at times a neurodegenerative disease. I wonder if maybe CBG can help with that. Like it does with actual neurodegenerative conditions. Because I mean, epilepsy really does, it's, it is it is degenerative. It really kind of fucks people up, man. And not enough information is out there about it. Uh, the reason I bring it up is because my wife has, has epilepsy. So it's... Uh, it's very it's always nice to be able to shine shine some light towards that kind of situation especially when it's in within my own community thank you so much again for coming out checking us out clicking the button watching the video i love y'all from the bottom of my lungs peace